Okay guys, so we're getting going to bottling here. Now there's a set process, you know, you need to take each bottle through. So here I just have standard 12 ounce bottles and you want the ones that have a single lip here. You don't want ones that have a screw thread on there. Uh, you know, you don't even, it doesn't matter. You can leave the labels on here. This is actually um, a beer from my wedding uh, just about six months ago. So I mean, the bottles are fine and we're gonna go ahead and wash them and then sanitize them and show you how this process works. So we have our bottle filler here. You wanna put your hand over it first as you turn it on. Make the water hot. See our ghetto rag here is catching the dropping, the drippings here so we're not leaking under our counter. And you simply put the bottle here and it shoots a jet of hot water into there. And you know, maybe five, 10 seconds on each bottle. You want to take a look in there, make sure you know you don't see any sediments or any you know anything stuck in there, or anything growing. Uh, so we'll set it aside and repeat the process quite a few times. Now again, it's also a good idea to rinse off the outsides of your bottles, especially to get off any dust or any you know sugary residues or anything sticky on there. So it looks nice and clear. So we'll keep going. And what happens is once we've gone through all these and cleaned them all. Then it's going to be time to use this cool sanitizer. So I'll show you how this works now. Okay, so here's how the sanitizer works. We have our clean bottle here that we just rinsed out with our bottle washer. Now we're going to go ahead and put this thing. It's a little tricky. It moves around a bit, but you just depress it. You can take a couple pumps to get the liquid in there, and there you go. So it shoots the sanitizing solution up into the bottle. About two squirts is good. Let it just kind of run off, and set it to the side. Now we just do the same thing for this bottle we just rinsed out. Two pumps, let the solution fall out. Star Sand foams, so that's good, and don't worry, the foam won't hurt your beer or anything. And just let it sit. So we go through all these bottles, and then before we go ahead and put it on our drying rack, uh, we want to you know, just go ahead and dump it one more time and get as much liquid out of there as we can. So we'll repeat this process. Okay guys, so now I'm just gonna show you how we go ahead and dry our bottles after we have already cleaned them and sanitized them in the sink here. So we just put them on this tree like this and uh, you see the fluid, you know, whatever sanitizing solution is left in there just falls right out. It's collected in the base of this thing and, uh, you know, there's no worrying about spilling or overflowing and all that. So nice way to air dry your bottles nice and safely. You know, they're going to stay sanitized because we sanitized all these individual trees already in the solution. So. They're good to go, so we'll repeat this process and get all our bottles finished, and then we're gonna go ahead and mix up our beer with the corn sugar for priming and start a bottling.